I think mapping's important to me because it's a really great tool to communicate with a wide range of audiences. You can all print one out and sit around a table and it sparks conversation and it helps all audiences come together to understand an issue or an area. Mining has shaped my life in many ways, not just personally, but also professionally. I come from a mining family that's very connected to this region. I think that the big shift for me happened a year ago when I did decide to leave the mining industry and come back and start working for community for First Nations, for the Indigenous communities. That's where I've been able to gain the technical expertise, experience, knowledge, and now I'm bringing it back in order to enable them to be part of the decision-making processes when it comes to all of this resource development that's happening within our communities. So my long-term vision is that there's that core capacity for ArcGIS and mapping. Short-term goal, I'm working on a mining activities database and actually an application that Esri has developed for us. Right now it's called the Nearby app. is helping us get a better understanding of the mining claims and the associated activities happening within the Ishabak Nation as well as in proximity to our 39 First Nations. And you can just start typing in the name of the community. And I can see within a 10 kilometer radius that there's 11 mining claims. But you can see when I increase it up to 25 kilometers, you're now at 529 mining claims within proximity to that community. So now with this really amazing application, I'm able to capture this data, export everything, and then there's analysis that can be done in Excel to further understand who the mine claim holders were, where they were active, as well as, as their anniversary and expiry dates. You could also use this data to create dashboards similar to what we've done with our abandoned mines dashboard. Without ArcGIS, I don't think that it's something that was possible. A big part of my role is educating and relationship building, not only with government, but also amongst our First Nations, as well as industry itself. If they want to be able to view a story from our perspective, so you can go in and you can look at, for instance, the mining project profiles. And within here, you'll see this is the Eagle River complex, which is in our Northern Superior region. And what I've done here is, is I've just created a bit of an overview or a snapshot on some key pieces of information that would be relevant to our First Nations. These projects, you know, they're not going to happen without Indigenous consent. And part of that is being informed. Through this powerful tool, we're not only capturing crucial data, but also empowering our communities with the knowledge they need to make informed decisions, safeguarding our lands for future generations. When I you know, share the links to these applications and these story maps. And then I get a little email back saying, I never knew that, or this has been such a huge help. It's just all those little, I think, acknowledgements from our community members that really make me feel special and that my work matters. Thank mm -hmm. you.